So continuing on with these mixed unit word problems, we're going to be doing number 24. So it says, the recipe calls for meatloaf for 5 quarts and 2 cups of tomato sauce per 100 portions of meatloaf. You're told to make 181 portions of meatloaf. How much tomato sauce do you need to make the meatloaf? So of course, first thing first is we want to convert this mixed unit into a single unit. So we got five quarts and two cups. So we're gonna have to try to convert the cups into quarts. So right now we're right here at cups. So when you're going back up, you have to divide. So we have to divide this cups by the cup by the unit above it in order to make it into the unit above that one so you got two cups right here so we have to divide that by two cups in order to convert it into pints so two cups divided by two cups of course that's going to equal one pint so we're at pint and we're trying to get to quarts, so we've got one more step. So right here, and then we just have to divide it by two pints in order to convert it into quarts. So one pint divided by two pints. So that's easy, that's gonna be half. So it ends up being 0.5 quarts. So now that we have it the same unit, we add these two together, and that is the first step to your problem. Now you have 5.5 quarts. So after we have it in into the a single unit, we have to multiply that by your working factor. So it says the it says you are told to make 181 portions of meatloaf. So to find your working factor, you have to get your portions to prepare and you have to divide that by 100. So like on the question it said you had to make 181 portions, so that is your portions to prepare. So 181 divided by 100 so that's an equal 1.81 so this is your working factor so after we find our working factor we have to multiply it by this by our 5.5 quarts of the tomato sauce so times 1.81 so that's an equal 9.96 quarts. The reason for that is because we're rounding to the hundredths place. So if this third number is five or above, we have to round up, which I just did. If it's four below, we leave it like that. So again, I it rounded up to 9.96, but we can't leave it like that because it's still is because of the decimal. So we have to uh, make it into its lowest unit. In this case, it's teaspoons, if possible. So when we're going back down, we have to multiply going down. So again, we want to block off our whole number. And we're at quarts right now, so we have to multiply it by the unit below it, which is pints. So we have to multiply the 0.96 quarts by two pints so 0.96 times two so that equals 1.92 pints so again we're going to block off our whole number and multiply the remainder the decimal with your unit under it so 0.92 pints we're going to multiply it by your two cups So don't forget to label every single thing. So 0.92 times 
two cups, so that equals 1.84 cups. So now we have to continue to go down until we get it to our lowest unit, which is teaspoons. So again, block off your whole number and multiply the remainder by the unit under it. So 0.84 cups, we're gonna have to multiply by your 16 tablespoons. So 0.84 times 16, so that equals 13.44 tablespoons. So we got one more step because we're almost at the its lowest unit. So again, block off your whole number and multiply the remaining decimal with the unit under which is this case is your three teaspoons. So 0.44 times three teaspoon. So that equals 1.32 teaspoon. So now that we're at its lowest unit, we can't go any more down than that. That's when we have to go to our decimal to fraction chart. So block off your whole number and we go to our decimal to fraction chart to determine where this decimal falls in between. So 0.3 falls, 0.32 falls in between this one right here. So it ends up being one fourth. So our final answer to this problem is your nine quarts, one pint, uh, one pint, your one cup, your 13 tablespoons, and your one and one fourth teaspoon. So that is your final answer for this mixed unit word problem.